Hi class, today I'm going to be giving you an overview of To Kill a Mockingbird. Now, To Kill a Mockingbird is a really great story. It's full of rich characters and there's so much symbolism. Uh, we'll go over that really quick in this short podcast and if you want to take some notes, that's fine. We'll go over this again and review in class tomorrow. Now, mockingbirds are a really big deal in To Kill a Mockingbird, and we'll discuss how they come into play later. This is our protagonist of the story, Jean Louise Finch. Uh, in the narrative, she's known as Scout. Now, Scout is the primary character. She's a six-year-old girl living in Maycomb, Alabama, and her brother is this handsome gentleman, Jem Finch. Now, Jem Finch is 10 when the book begins, and he is Scout's brother. Now, the father of Scout and Jem is Atticus Finch. Now, Atticus is a lawyer, and that's really important later in the narrative. Now this is Boo Bradley, and he is the neighbor of Scout and Jem and Atticus, and he is only seen at the end of the novel, but he's mentioned several times. Finally, we have Bob Yule, who is the main antagonist of the novel. The main plot of To Kill a Mockingbird is that Atticus has to defend Tom Robinson, who is a black man, from Bob and Mayella Yule. Tom is accused of raping Mayella, and this is proven false, but the jury convicts Tom anyway just because he's black, and Atticus thinks that this is a huge injustice and needs to be corrected. Next we just have a short sound clip from To Kill a Mockingbird, and this is the end of the courtroom scene, and Atticus is talking to the jury about why Tom Robinson should be acquitted, and this really helps to illuminate the theme of the novel. Now, gentlemen, in this country, our courts are the great levelers. In our courts, all men are created equal. Now, the subplot of the novel is the children, Scout and Jem, are trying to interact with Boo Radley and to get him to come out of his house. And this ties into the theme of the Mockingbirds as well, and I'll explain that in just a minute. Now, the Mockingbird theme can be tied into both Tom Robinson and Boo Radley, and the theme that you aren't supposed to shoot a Mockingbird is prevalent throughout the story. And Atticus cites the reasoning for not shooting mockingbirds because they don't do anything but sing sweet music and they don't bother anybody. And the mockingbirds apply also to Tom Robinson because Tom was not guilty of the crime that he was accused of, but he was accused anyway simply because he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Now, Boo Radley is also a mockingbird because Boo Radley doesn't do anything but mind his own business. But Jem and Scout are consistently trying to get him to come out of his house and to bother him. The climax of the novel takes place on Halloween a couple of years after the narrative starts. And Jem is almost 13 and Scout is nearly 8. And Jem and Scout are walking home from a pageant that was at their school where Scout was dressed up like a ham. And Jem and Scout get attacked by Bob Yule and are later saved by Boo Radley. And Jem is unconscious and has a broken arm, and Scout is tangled up in her ham costume, and she's frightened and scared. He ultimately saved their lives. So in conclusion, To Kill a Mockingbird is a wonderful novel that has the prevalent theme of not shooting a mockingbird because it's the wrong thing to do and it's a sin. And the quote that you're seeing is the last lines of the book, and I feel that this really ties in the entire novel because Scout is referring to a book that Atticus had just read to her. And I feel like this quote really sums up the entire novel. So thank you for listening, and I'll see you in class tomorrow.